Yo, it's your boy Marita, boy, I'm back up in this thing, man, listen, it's 4 day in the morning, listen, man, and I'm grinding, I told y'all, listen, man, I'm never gonna stop, man, listen, I had that little situation where, you know what I mean, I had stopped for a little bit, but listen, man, and since I've been back, man, all my YouTube family, y'all been rocking with me, I call y'all my family now, man, you know what I'm saying, because I really, really, really enjoy doing the lives and interacting with y'all, man, but this video right here, what I'm finna give y'all, man, it just was shocking to me, man. It just, I, if you notice the videos that I do, I try to do videos that's interesting, you know what I'm saying, and uh, thought provoking, and um, that shed some sort of um, awareness on certain situations that be going on, you know what I mean, as well as situations that's big in the hip hop community as well. But listen, man, this one right here, oh, and I also thank y'all for rocking with my, my life. Uh, videos you know what i'm saying it's kind of like therapy for me but at the same time you know what i'm saying i wanted to connect more with y'all if y'all haven't seen my life videos man go check them go check them out on my page i'll be giving you more of those you know what i'm saying because it's just segments of my life you know what i'm saying from start to up till now you know what i'm saying i'm gonna c continue giving them out to y'all i hope y'all enjoy them i just wanted to connect with y'all on a more personable level so y'all will know who i am know where i come from you know what i mean that type of stuff man because everybody got a story man and i wanted to make sure i told my story man because time is the most precious thing we have in this world we don't know how much time we actually have and we don't know how much time we have left so i want to tell the story so that it's out there so if anything happened to me you know what i mean y'all will always be able to go back and reflect and and know where i came from and know my story and it also make you connect more with my channel if you know more about me other than me just getting on here blogging that everybody do that you know what i'm saying i want you to know more about me um i'm not ashamed of where i came from where i came from helped make me everybody got a story and i'm proud and i'm happy to be here still to tell mine because a lot of people didn't get to tell their story you know what i mean somebody got a little to the story so i'm telling mine but listen man this video is crazy just like my ex sister law you say crazy this video is crazy this video is about two mississippi women that pulled up to a woman's house for that smoke and got smoked man swell Pulled up to a woman's house for the smoke and got smoked. I can't make this sh up, man. This is crazy. And we don't. We if you're from the hood, we don't seen this this scene a thousand times. Some women pull up, some you know to my oh, da -da 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 -da. and but this we did not go the way those two women women thought it was gonna go. So I'm gonna play the audio for y'all, man. They even had children out there. It was children out there witnessing this. Shout out to Miss Lowdown. I came across this video on Miss Lowdown page. Shout out, if you ain't following Miss Lowdown, Subscribe to her channel, man. She have a lot of interesting videos, man. I always like to give people their flowers, man, because people on YouTube be so funny acting. They use other people's content, and then they'll give them shout-out. No, go subscribe to Miss Lowdown. She got a way bigger page than mine, but this story was interesting to me, man, and this is where I got it from, man. But listen to these women. They pulled up to this woman's house for the smoke and begged this woman to shoot them, and guess what she did? She spent the block on them. She shot them. She killed them. She killed them. These women actually begged to be shot. They begged for it. And she, the lady, you could tell, she was just telling them, just go ahead on, go about your business. And they didn't go, but they end up going. This time next year, there'll be one year old ghosts. But check this shit out, man. This shit is queasy. I sit on top of y'all shit, ho. I'ma come to your shit and make it mad, bitch. I'ma come to shit and make it mad. And all the bitch with a shot that gun. That bitch said. That bitch said. That bitch said she don't want to miss Coco right here. She came. Oh, right here. That bitch got scoped. She came. Oh, right here. What the fuck? That bitch came in. Why you? Scoped. Why you pulling your gun and ain't shot that bitch? Oh, she gonna shoot it. Shoot your gun though. Oh, she gonna shoot it. Shoot your. What? What I'm coming close to fall? What the fuck? Man, just shoot me. I ain't got no bulletproof vest on. What the fuck? She didn't know right then she was minutes away from meeting her maker. Do you hear what this woman saying? She's saying, shoot me. She, she, she begging somebody to shoot me. This, this woman to shoot her. She put, they put up to this woman's house for that smoke. And I'm pretty sure somebody like this, these women done did this before. And they thought, oh, women don't shoot other women? Bullshit. It's 2013. Watch what happened to them. Hey, hold on. I'm gonna pull up 
to a beach house to make a man. I don't know, beach shit. Scared rat. Scared rat. A motherfucker got a gun and won't even shoot that bitch. I'm on my property. For a second, I want y'all to understand the video, the audio. It's a video, but you know, I I, I have the video, but I can't, I don't want to show the video on YouTube because I don't want to get my channel short. And if you know anything about my channel, I do not show videos of people getting shot and all that. I had the video of a uh, Slim 400 getting shot, and I ain't post that. I'm not doing that. People got families and all of that. I I'm not gonna never do that. Um, that's why I don't have a Patreon. I don't want to. At this point in my life, I ain't made a decision totally about that Patreon thing, but I don't feel in my in myself. I don't feel like the need to show people them type of videos. You know what I mean? So other people do that. That's fine. Uh, all money ain't good money. I got morals, and it's just some of me just say I don't want to do that. But the the audio, the video, it was shot by the woman who actually got shot. This woman filmed her own demise. This is crazy. Listen, they actually standing on the woman's car, begging this woman to shoot. Show it, show it, show it. Bro, listen, this is ignorance to its fuck fullest. Like, and, and get it, I'm from the hood. I done seen this scene a thousand times. I done seen girls do this a thousand times where I'm from. But my thing is this, man. It don't go, listen man, anytime you get into some kind of altercation or, or physical situation or something like this with people, it don't have to go your way. People be thinking it's going to go their way. No, it does not have to go your way. You know what I mean? You could be the antagonist. You could be ready. You could be strapped up. You could be hunted deep. It still might not go your way. And, and it kills me when I see people, uh, getting into these type of situations and they be so oblivious to the fact that it might not go your way it might not go your way you know what i'm saying like for real, for real these women ain't got no guns now i don't know what the situation was about nine times ten is over a man we all know that you know what i'm saying nine times ten but that's just a rumor that's just from me telling y'all i don't know but that's what normally what these things are about um but they think they just finna do this and they think it's gonna be a normal hood fight or whatever whatever but this woman got a gun and, and and i'm thinking they thinking since you know you don't hear about women shooting women every day it's mostly dudes shooting women or something like that i mean dudes shooting dudes and shit like that so i'm thinking they just was thinking oh no this is just she ain't gonna shoot she ain't gonna shoot she ain't gonna shoot <laughs> all right shoot that gun bitch I want to say another thing too. The same woman that's saying shoot that gun, shoot that gun. Once she gets shot, watch how she be. Watch how she says she gonna be saying, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." That's when she. Go, that's when she see that white light. That's when she go to go into that white light when she see a soul floating up to the goddamn sky. You see what I'm saying? Listen, 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 my people. Listen, my listen, my people. I'm talking to my people now because you know this is my people that be doing a lot of this, and these are my people on this on this on this video right here, man. Listen, man. We got to do better, man. These two women were somebody babies. I always, I got children, so I always equate to somebody love these women. They got children, probably got boyfriends, got sisters, brothers, mamas, daddies. Somebody love them, and y'all gonna throw y'all life away for this situation? Listen, let me tell y'all something. That's why 
I take the high road. In my age, in my older age, I take the high road. I try, I try my best to take the high road. Don't get it twisted. I ain't pussy. I ain't soft. But I ain't finna go out looking for nothing and I ain't finna antagonize nobody. If the drama come my way, then I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna handle my business. I'm gonna protect my family. I'm gonna protect myself. And hey, if I gotta go to jail, I'm gonna go to jail. That's just what it is. That's a man's job. But I'm saying, I'm not provoking nobody. Know what I'm saying? Not me. Now, one thing I hate is bullies. I hate bullies with a passion. Know what I'm saying? I will fucking, I, I get red when I see a bully. I be wanting to go there if they bullying somebody else. And you better not try to bully me because that's when you're going to see that. You know what I mean? Because I got a temper too. Don't let this nice, laughy shit fool you. I got a temper for real, for real. But I know how to keep my temper in check and I know how to try to think my way through situations. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times if you just pause and think and don't react. Now, sometimes you got to react. So it just depends. You just got to know the situation. But a lot of times you just pause, think, is this really worth it? Think about your children. Think about your mama. Think about your daddy. Think about yourself. Think about what could possibly happen to you. Now, if you feel like it's still worth it, hey, by all means, go do your thing. Do your thing. But sometimes I feel like people don't be done thought about this stuff. Sometimes, and thing, let's be real, so a lot of times people be slow. A lot of our homeboys, homegirls we grow up with in the hood, they be slow. I, I'm just going to be real. They be slow. Y'all know. Y'all know the ones that's in them slow classes. You know what I'm saying? They might get money. They might be popular, whatever, whatever. But I'm talking about when it comes down to the real deal, the critical thinking, they're slow. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about like they just slow like they can't function. We got functioning slow motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about get money. They might get money in the streets and all type of shit. But I'm talking about when it comes to thinking, critical thinking, they're slow. These women were definitely slow. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no way in hell you're supposed to be talking shit to nobody with a gun in your goddamn face. You know what I'm saying? And you pull up at this lady house doing this. Now, I don't know what kind of charges they're going to face because they didn't have no gun. I don't know if you consider them posing, the police consider them posing a threat or nothing like that. But what I'm saying is these women could have avoided this situation. Both of them died. One of them died on the scene and one of them died on the way to the hospital. The lady been telling them to get the fuck on. Man, listen to this shit. That girl said, the girl, the girl got a scope on her gun now. And she said she ain't going to. She got a scope on the gun. So they need to tell you what kind of gun this is. Because she don't want to miss. I ran here sitting on that bitch truck. She ain't gonna miss. She gonna knock your ass right off that truck. Just like a goddamn can sitting on a motherfucking pole. Target practice. At her shit. At her shit. At her shit. You hear? She at her, at that lady place of residence. And she done bought the bullshit to them people house. You ain't gonna, you gonna get a couple. What you want to say? Get the fuck off. Get the fuck off. Now, what you're hearing now is the lady that got so upset at them antagonizing her, she done came out and she like, get the fuck off of my vehicle. Like, y'all hoes is just going too far now. They done, they done antagonized this lady so damn bad to this lady just done probably snapped and done threw and just done forgot. She done snapped too. She done forgot about all the consequences of her actions. She just, she just want to show these bitches that I'm not to be played with. And let's be real. We all can get there. You know what I'm saying? I always like to say this. In the hood, everybody potential killers. Everybody. It just take the right situation, the wrong situation, and, and that's what it is. You see what I'm saying? And this is the clear clear case of that. This lady at her own house, I don't know what the drama was before, but they wouldn't have died that day in that spot, in that situation had they not brought their motherfucking ass to that lady's house. That lady, they done antagonized this lady, sitting on this lady's vehicle, jumping on this lady goddamn hood to the point where this lady just done snapped. And you know, we all know, this is a scientific fact that when you get mad, you don't you're, you don't think it's you don't think it's clearly. This is science. This is scientific. And anytime you get angry, it kind of blocks your 
your, 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 your critical thinking inhibitors. You see what I'm saying? So you can't think like you normally would when you get mad. You see what I'm saying? But what you're hearing now is the lady just done got fed up with them antagonizing her, calling all these names, standing on her goddamn vehicle, like just showing a natchy black ass. Get out my motherfucking truck! Get out my goddamn truck! I'm in the night, motherfucker! Get your ass off my goddamn truck, T! Now! Get out my motherfucking truck! Get out my goddamn truck, T! Get out my truck! Please get off her damn truck! God damn! What y'all expect to happen? But these ladies are dead now. They are dead from this situation. This is crazy. Oh my God, let me get her, get her wet. Oh my God, let me get that wet. Oh listen, listen, listen. Watch, listen. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. You hear her saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, nah, bitch, don't be sorry. Don't be motherfucking sorry. You see what I'm saying? You see, they was gorillas two seconds ago. That lady done hit ass with that motherfucking round, and now she talking about, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You see how quick that motherfucker turned from a gorilla to a motherfucking mouse? You see the bullshit? But you but you, you risked your life on this bullshit. You had plenty of chances to get the fuck on. Like you weren't doing them, standing out there arguing in that lady yard, standing on her shit, antagonizing that lady. You could have, you could have avoided this, man. Man, let me tell you some real shit. If I'm the judge, I'm the police. If I'm the jury, I ain't getting that lady that much time for this shit. I'm gonna get that lady probation. I'm gonna get her ass probably a year probation and let her go about her motherfucking business. Cause clearly you bitches did not value your lives. Clearly you bitches didn't think about the people that loved you. A lot of times, let me tell y'all something too, man. A lot of times, if you don't value your own life, think about what ha what's gonna happen if something happened to you about for the people that care for you. It's people that love you. Think about your children. Think about your mama. Think about your daddy. Think about the hurt that they're gonna have. If something happened to you, even if you don't give a fuck about yourself, I'm just saying you need to think about all these things before you step your ass out there and do some reckless shit like this here, man. You see what I'm saying? And I, and, I, and I understand sometimes we all mature at different ages. You see what I'm saying? But as you get older, I told y'all this before, you learn to let certain shit go because certain shit don't be worth it. This was clearly not worth it. These are, this, this is a life. We can't never get that back. You can't ain't no rewind on this shit. These ladies are gone forever from this bullshit situation. Okay. okay. Talking about, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Bitch, you could have said you were sorry long time. What is you sorry for now? What is you sorry for now? Cause you was just talking all kind of bullshit. Talking about I come to I come to a uh, uh, bitch hood and making minds. All of this shit right here. No gun, no bulletproof vest, vandalizing this lady's shit in this lady y'all. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. It was children out there that witnessed this. Two three year old kids were standing in the yard witnessed this. So y'all done came to this lady house. In front of this lady, Cherry, and Lord a bit, that's sad too, because Cherry seen this shit happen, man. I, 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 I'm, I, I really, I'm really mad about that too, because these children witnessed this. It was little girls out there. And these are the generational curses that we perpetuate. Now these little girls don't witness a murder, two, two murders, and they ain't even old enough to go to kindergarten yet, man. Who knows what kind of childhood trauma they gonna have? Who knows how they might grow up now? Kids, let me tell you, a lot of shit affect kids, even if it don't seem like it affect them. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you this shit, bro. I'm telling you this shit. A lot of small things that you don't think affect kids affect kids, and they carry that shit up until adulthood. We got to do better, black people. But these were two black women out of Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Um, I put their pictures in the thumbnail. Both of them dead now from this bullshit situation, man. I want y'all to get in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Because this shit is just crazy. This shit is crazy. And I had to do this story because this is one of the most uh, thought-provoking, provoking, shocking stories that I had seen in a while. And I just wanted to share that with my people on my channel, man. Get in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Like, share, subscribe. 
comment, man. And if you ain't getting your post notifications, man, unsubscribe and subscribe right back. Hit all, man, so y'all can hit y'all can get all these notifications when I drop these videos. And I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all for supporting me. And your boy is heating up. Chill. <laughs>